Welcome to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. This video is going to take you out for a walk on the beach and check out the seaweed situation. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Just for context, we have a map here and I've already circled this section at the end of Avenue Constituente in front of the Hilton and in front of the Hyatt. That's where I'm going to be walking today on the beach. Here we go. Good afternoon from Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Here we are at the end of Avenue Constituente. To the right is the Wyndham Ultra. To the left here is the Hilton. We're going to head down to the beach here and uh, we'll hang a left and we'll walk in front of the Hilton and then the Hyatt. Now Avenue Constituente is a main through fare here in Playa del Carmen and you'll see this little, it's a ferry dock but it's usually only used on Wednesdays or when there's other kind of special kind of things going on. So uh, the actual ferry dock is down to the right about a kilometer and there is the seaweed so they've obviously cleaned it up and they've got a big pile of it here yeah, i can smell it 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 stinks but uh not too many people here on this little pier area because it stinks and another thing i'm really noticing lately is look at these rocks and stones and uh, i'm just thinking the beach has really been eroding i know i've been talking about it the last two or three weeks but I never really saw that many rocks before I wonder where is all the sand going and just to caution the parents here there seems to be a bit of a drop off here you don't want your kid walking along here and, and falling down there um, so just be careful the other thing is it's a pretty calm day here and uh, sometimes this can get kind of wavy and you really got to be careful with the kids or if you're a non-swimmer just be careful of that because it looks like the beach has really shrunk and I keep saying it, I'm not sure if it's because the Hilton and the Hyatt here are putting extra lawn chairs out, but that big stone rock was not there before. So there's definitely been some erosion here. And I don't know, because uh, I'm not usually here this time of year. I, I probably will be heading home in the next two or three weeks, but because the seaweed's not in, I'm staying for a little bit longer because the beach is, is fine. Like, look at this, they've cleaned it all up. This is, you know, early afternoon here, and I always keep saying it, if, you're, if you come out here at one in the afternoon or three in the afternoon and you want to enjoy the beach, you're oblivious to this whole seaweed situation. And there it is, there's the Hilton. It's a beautiful place, five star, and I think it's adults only. But uh, look at how low, I've got a, a, ma a mount here a chest mount and you can see how high that is so there's a real drop off just parents with the kids be careful with this drop off here you don't want your kids playing around and then falling off and falling into the water especially I think it's a bit low tide right now but if it becomes a little bit higher in tide you don't want them falling into the water but if anybody knows whether there's been some major erosion here it, it appears to me that there has been I came down here and started doing the videos early December we got December, January, February, we're at the end of March here, we're into April now. So this is my fifth month I've been here doing this. But look at this beach, this is beautiful. Last year at this time, uh, there was so much seaweed here. It was like a huge embankment of uh, seaweed here on the beach and then you had to swim at least 20 feet out through the seaweed. You can see the Hyatt up there on to the left there, that's kind of a cool looking hotel. We're coming up towards the Hyatt. And these are two beautiful hotels, whatever. This is the major beach here. This is probably the busiest beach. And uh, because it's so calm, people are just out there a little bit farther than normal also. And there's the pier that they don't really use that much, but that's a, uh, one of the two ferry companies there. There's a yellow ferry, and then there's the orange ferries. And I heard there's a third ferry that's come into kind of started working this year. So that just goes to show you that there's a lot of tourism here and tourism is way up. Anywhere from Cancun all the way down to Tulum, tourism is way up. Tulum has a new airport and it just opened to international flights in the last couple of weeks. I did a few videos on that. I did, I was down in 
Tulum cover in the beach there, and there's a bit of a crime surge down there because uh, the airport now has got a ton of people coming in there. The Mayan train has a ton of people coming in there. So Tulum is going to explode. Playa is already filled. You know, this is really happening. Uh, flights coming into Cancun have been at, a, at an all-time high. Um, so occupancy rates in Cancun, Puerto Morales, Playa del Carmen, Acamel, Tulum, this whole coast here is just booming with tourism. The beach looks awesome and as a result I might change my plans for next year. You know, instead of coming down November, December, January, now if, it, if it's going to be like this into April, I might stay a little bit longer. Why is it like this? So I guess is the question. If you saw my last video, the um, looks like they've got barriers out there. I think they've got almost up to 10,000 meters, 10 kilometers of barriers out here preventing the seaweed from coming in now. Number two, they've got these special boats out there that is picking up all the seaweed. Now, what are they doing with the seaweed when these boats pick it up? There are there's so many different things they're trying uh, in order to use it somehow because supposedly there's 5,000 miles of it out in the Caribbean Sea and out in the Atlantic in the Sargasm Sea is what they call it. Sargasso, Sargasm, it's a seaweed, basically just a huge clump of it out there between Africa and the Caribbean here. And uh, it's supposed to be even worse this year, but it's just not coming in. They've got the barriers in place, they've got those boats in place that uh, are picking it up, and they've also got these people on the beach here that are out early, and they are, they've got these special kind of rear loaders things where they're picking up the seaweed, and then they're putting it um, with wheelbarrows, and they're popping it in tractors. Tractors are taking it to trucks, and then they're taking it somewhere. So. There's been so much talk, are they using it for fertilizer? I heard uh, a guy last year started using it up in Puerto Morales and he was making bricks out of it. So they are frantically looking for something they can do and a, a way they can use this sargasm. Sargasm is just seaweed um, for some sort of purpose because there's so much of it and it's coming ashore here. And I know I'm talking about uh, a lot of other things, but the beach looks awesome. So. For those people that have been asking me uh, in the comment section, what's it going to be like in April? There it is. Okay. Uh, if you would have uh, asked me in February, I would have said, uh-oh, April usually, because April this time last year was horrible. And I would normally say May, June, it would be horrible. But the government here, I hear, heard has put like $3 billion into this in order to prevent this seaweed from coming into the beach here just to save the tourism because you've got to think about it either the government can save can spend three billion dollars in order to save the tourism industry for another six months or the only time you're going to be able to come down here is basically November December January February the seaweed starts so what do you want to have a three or a four month tourism season down here um, people are screaming to come down here in April it is occupancy is really high right now so the beach look uh, looks awesome it looks like there's a bit of erosion but um, all in all I'm you know I'm coming down I'm doing a, a walk here every uh, Saturday uh, and I might do another one on Wednesdays but the the beaches look awesome we're past the Hyatt and the Hilton here and I'm gonna probably head out there right now so I'll just let you have a look at the water I'm just gonna say thanks for coming along on the walk with me today everything looks awesome I'm gonna say ciao for now See you next week.